Because this uh, Audi A8 is such a big, executive, important car, it's not really enough for little old me to sit here and tell you about how awesome it is and what tech it has in it. I have someone a little more important sitting beside me here. This is Matthias and uh, hi. Hello. <laughs> Could you please tell us what do you actually do at Audi? Because you're not just a random pedestrian I picked up uh, on the side of the road because you'd like to ride in an Audi. Yeah, thank you for your, your question. Um, I'm responsible at Audi for development of complete B platform. So for actual A4, A5 and Q5 uh, vehicles at our company uh, where I'm uh, leading as well as concept design as industrialization phase. So basically, if you take a break, half of the Audi range is out of the question. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't just say it like this because I'm just a researcher and Audi consists of more just like of research and development. Uh, our our uh, guys are also dealing with selling, sales department, production and so on and so on. So. Okay, but they'll be so, selling old cars. <laughs> that, that's true. <laughs> so, so important, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> but still, important enough and knowledgeable enough, certainly much more knowledgeable than me about this car and all the other cars. Could you tell us a little bit about some of the specialties in this uh, executive saloon because you can see that yes it has two very large uh, color touch screens here which have haptic uh, feedback by the way so when you when you press on them it's like in the audi q7 with a trackpad where you actually feel like you're pressing something like a button um, you can see that but what about the th stuff that we cannot actually see the the technology that goes on in the background so uh, the car is full stuffed with new technologies, uh, like new sensors. We have, for example, a laser sensor. We have, for example, radar sensors, who, who um, make it possible that the car is driving very safely, is, is uh, researching the, the area around the car and can react on, on, on the, the new, new uh, situation that can or could uh, exist. Um, so this is one, one of the major uh, uh, improvement in the car. Uh, this is needed because we would like to drive autonomously, we would like to drive uh, assisted and all these sensors and technology are, are uh, basic of this, of this possibility to give the customer uh, relaxed driving, uh, um, very um, uh, intense driving or, 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 or uh, stuff like this. Uh, the, the second stuff that, that we have in car is uh, vehicle suspension. It's completely new developed suspension when you can, for example, drive over bumper and the uh, cars actually uh, glides over the, over the bumper. So if you're going over a speed bump, you won't really feel it as much as in a standard car. Exactly, because the, the new technology and the new suspension can react on this uh, with, with a special bumpers that are designed to uh, pick the drive, uh, the, the wheel, uh, collect it to the chassis and then lift it down and up as needed. So the car detects that there is a speed bump ahead with the cameras and the lasers and the whatchamacallit mm -hmm. and then it actually as you drive over the bump it lifts the wheel so you don't feel it as much. Exactly. So the car doesn't jump. Exactly, so this is this would be at, at old cars they would really jump over the bumper and you would notice it at the right back position which is most important position for the car like this <laughs> because most important persons like I don't know uh, leaders of a company or leaders of a country uh, sits right back position um, they're, they're, uh, they're, um, they should actually not feel that they are driving in the car. And this technology, for example, makes it possible. Through the all other constructional uh, um, Im improvement, for example, the ch chassis itself uh, is a mixed like space frame technology, but mixed with other materials like carbon, like steel, um, which enhanced better lightweight. Uh, um, so the cars are lighter. Uh, we, we can um, improve the stiffness of the chassis so all the voice and noise in the car is better, the stiffness of the, the chassis is better. So. so there's actually carbon fiber underneath here? Yes, in, in, in special parts. And mixed with titanium and unobtainium? And aluminium and, and, and so on, and steel and, and so on. Yeah. 
So you said that this car has so many sensors that it can detect when I'm hungry and it can detect a restaurant and say, stop here, you're gonna like this food. Yeah. Yes, this, <laughs> we are really we are joking about it. Uh, right now the car cannot do this. <laughs> I would be, I would be uh, not telling the truth, but uh, maybe in the future, for example, the car will be connected to the network. And if you say, okay, I'm hungry now, and I would like to go to a perfect meal and please make me some proposals. It would actually call to the, to the restaurant, reserve you a place and maybe already uh, take care for a nice cold beer in the restaurant. That <laughs> would be amazing. And it would, it would learn what I like and... Okay, let's stop talking about <laughs> this food. This is the near future. <laughs> this is the near future. But you've also mentioned before when we were talking that um, the technology in the A8, which is the pinnacle of what Audi offers, then slowly trickles down over the years to the, well, shall we say, lesser models. Yeah, that's true. So, because this is some kind of uh, um, the best product that we are, we are having, uh, and we always put all the new technologies in A8, because with that we would like to demonstrate, yes, we can do it, we, we know what the new technologies are, we, we, we are improving this car to the per perfectionism. And um, there are some technologies that we need, some sensors that we need for autonomous driving, uh, for example, or um, let, put, let me say it, assistive driving. Uh, and the, the new cars that we are developing, some for example A4 that will come, the new generation is planned for 21, 22, year 21, 22, uh, will need, uh, for example, laser sensor, because this is the basic of of, of uh, scanning of, 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 of the area in the front of the car. So actually we, we will enhance it, we will learn it, how, how it reacts in this car, we will um, make some data and uh, um, use the experience that we are making with A8 and put it then in the, in the lower classes. So all these sensors will help the uh, Audi PreSense? Uh, yes, to develop furthermore. Okay, basically. just in case you don't know what Audi PreSense is, it's basically a <laughs> set of systems that uh, make sure that if you're about to crash, it will do a number of things. It will close the windows, it will uh, tighten the seat exactly. belts. Um, seat belts on, yeah. I also read that this, this car has an optional um, airbag that goes between the passengers? Yes, that's, that's a new new topic. For example, we would like to, for example, at the back seat, we would like to um, surround the, 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 uh, the co-driver or the passengers in the back that they're uh, really put in the safety. So, sooner or later, you're actually going to want to crash in an Audi because it's going to be so comfortable. <laughs> oh, crash, crash. <laughs> Believe me, batteries, to, to, uh, uh, not to go to crash of so the car, prevents you to stay safe in the car and not experience the crash. It should be the goal and target. There you go. That's what you all should strive for. Do not crash. No matter how comfortable it's going to be coming in an Audi. And how the safe the car is. <laughs> you were talking about uh, a rather funny thing. Uh, with the likes of BMW, for example, everyone has to wear a tie. Everyone is very extremely polite and, you know, like a gentleman. But over here, it's very, it's very friendly, very homey. So what's going on with that? Yeah, so we have got a new development chief, uh, Dr. Mertens. Uh, he is coming from Volvo and he's putting some kind of new spirit in our development department. And uh, a year ago, after he was coming to our place, he said, uh, I don't want to have the stiffness and coldness in, in our development. We are, we are guys who are looking forward, who work together and the tie is not uh, a, a criteria for that. <laughs> so let's put us all our ties uh, out and back and just run without the ties in the company. So if you come today in the development department, you will never see a guy who, who wears a tie, uh, except for the selling department or, or so on and so on, where the official uh, discussions are going on. So we, we will try to be some kind of uh, cool and and uh, yeah and easy, you know, at our work. I like that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, Matthias, thank you so much, and um, I hope we can do something in the future as well. Thank you too. <laughs> I'm looking forward to. It.